Magandang araw po muli sa inyong lahat. Sa pagkakataon na ito ay magkakaroon muli tayo ng uh, MAC Trial Examination sa subject na CDI 6 o mas higit na kilala sa kanyang descriptive title na Fire Technology and Arson Investigation. Hangarin ng MAC Trial Examination na ito na mabigyan kayo ng self-confidence para sa darating na board examination. At kung sakali man mababa ang nakuha nyo sa ating MAC Trial Examination, this will serve as a wake-up call sa inyo para magpursigi pa kayo sa inyong pagre-review. As usual, meron tayong dalawampotlimang katanungan at ang acceptable score na dapat nyo makuha ay higit pa sa dalawampo upang tayo ay makasiguro na academically prepared na tayo sa subject na ito. Okay, so ang link ng video sa ating k correction ngayon ay makikita sa ating description box. Okay, kung nakahanda na kayo ay umpisa na natin sa question number one. This is a form of energy generated by transformation of some other form of energy as in combustion or burning. Letter A, heat. Letter B, radiation. C, chemical reaction. Or D, combustion. Question number two. It is an energy produced through movement of molecules by friction. A. Radiation B. Convection C. Heat or D. Light Question number 3. What is usually used to measure the degree of thermal agitation of molecules? A. Temperature B. Thermometer C. Electrometer or D. Computer Next question number 4. Sources of heat except A. Open flame B. Friction C. Electrical circuit or D. Mats Question number 5 General categories of heat energy results from chemical reactions such as heat of decomposition and heat of solution A. Chemical energy B. Mechanical energy C. Solar energy or D. Nuclear energy Next, question number 6 Heat resulting from friction and compression A. Chemical energy B. Mechanical energy C. Solar energy or D. Nuclear energy Question number 7 Heat results from electricity such as resistance heating, arching, short circuiting, and for the electric Heating A. Chemical energy B. Electrical energy C. Solar energy or D. Nuclear energy Next question number 8 Energy results from the heat of the sun confining the event con 
defining the even distribution of radiated rays from the sun in one area. A. Chemical energy. B. Mechanical energy. C. Solar energy. Or D. Nuclear energy. Next, number nine. Heat resulting from breaking or combining of atom. A. Chemical energy. B. Mechanical energy. C. Solar energy. Or D. Nuclear energy. Next, number 10. When heat is transferred through solid materials, this is called A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation or D. Flame Contact Next, number 11. Heat is transferred by air motion A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation or D. Flame Contact Number 12 Any materials or substances capable of burning can be considered A. Fuel B. Liquid C. Gas or D. LPG Next, question number 13. Class A fire is A. Ordinary combustible materials, mostly solid B. Liquid or gas state fuel such as LPG, oil and other petroleum products C. Electrical energized fuel such as flat iron, electric fan, etc. Letter D. Metallic fire such as potassium, magnesium, and other combustible metals. Question number 14. Classification of gases based on source except A. Natural gas B. Manufactured gas C. Liquefied gases or D. Carbon dioxide Next, number 15 What kind of gas is used to cook food? and provide energy for industries consists chiefly of methane, a colorless and odorless gas usually mixed with compound of the foul smelling element sulfur so that leak can be detected. Examples are butane and propane. A. Natural gas B. Manufactured gas C. Liquefied gases or D. Carbon dioxide Question number 16 This is used cheaply where certain fuels are abundant and others are scarce. Coal Petroleum and biomass can all be converted to gas through heating and by various chemical procedures. Gas can also be produced by treating such biomass as animal manure with bacteria called an anaerobes. The bacteria expel methane as they digest the waste. A. Natural gas B. Manufactured gas C. Liquefied gases or D. Carbon dioxide 
Question number 17. What gases are those in normal atmospheric pressure, partly in liquid state, and partly in solid state? Under pressure inside the container, its pressure is dependent upon the temperature of the liquid. A. Natural gas. B. Manufactured gas. C. Liquefied gases or D. Carbon dioxide. Question number 18. Air is composed of letter A, 21% oxygen, B, 10% oxygen, C, 50% oxygen, or D, 100% oxygen. Next, number 19. Air is composed of letter A, 78% nitrogen, letter B, 75% nitrogen, C, 50% nitrogen, or D, 21% nitrogen. <coughs> okay. Question number 20. Fire point oxygen requirements. A. 21%. B. 5%. C. 3%. Or D. 1%. Question number 21. A building which is unsafe in case of fire because it lacks adequate Fire exit is said to be A. Fire trap B. Fire resistant C. Fire gases or D. Fuel 22. Heat transfer in the dangerous behavior of fire is obvious in its A. Free burning phase, B. Initial stage, C. Final stage or smoldering phase, or D. None of the foregoing. Next, 23. In what stage of the burning prolytic process? Maximize the intensity of the fire to become destructive. A. Pre-burning phase. B. Initial stage. C. Final stage or smoldering phase. Or D. All of the foregoing. Okay, so question number 24. Which of the following statement is true concerning combustion? A. All of the foregoing. B. It is always accompanied by flame. C. It will continue until materials is cold to below its kindling temperature. D. A gas is compressed in this result in the increase of temperature. Or letter D, a gas is compressed in this result in the increase of temperature. Last question, question number 25. It is common knowledge that when the sun rays are focused on the head of a match, by the use of hand lens, it will ignite. What means of heat transfer burn the match head? A. Conduction B. Radiation C. Convection or D. Condensation Okay, so nakatapos na tayo sa isa na namang MAC Trial Examination or MAC Board Examination. Time na para i-check ang inyong papel para makita ninyo kung sa labing 
sa dalawampot limang katanungan ay ilan kaya ang inyong mga nakuha. Kung higit pa sa dalawampo ang inyong nakuha, congratulations, maintain the good performance at uh, dagdagan pa ang inyong natutunan para sa subject na ito. Pero kung mas mababa naman sa dalawampo ang inyong nakuha, I advise you to go over again our uh, reading materials at ulitin na naman ang pagsagot uh, sa mga katanungan na ito para makita ninyo kung may improvement ang inyong mga score. So okay, so hanggang sa mga susunod na naman na pagkakataon na magkakaroon tayo ng Macboard Examination, uh, hangad natin na sana ay mapagtagumpayan ninyo ang inyong hangarin sa darating na board examination. So, hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat at magandang araw po sa inyong lahat.